What's up guys, it's Sears and I'm going to be doing a review on the mini washing machine and the mini dryer as well because I bought both of them, you know. I live to save a little coin, you know, instead of buying the big one for like $1,100, I only got this for like, what, $150, $200? Like they come in different like sizes, I think. Um, I don't actually know what size this is, but I know it's very small. It's not even longer than my arm. Like if you look at it. Like, I touch the floor and, like, it comes, like, right here to my arm. So, it's not that long. Big. Okay, um, I'm going to be showing you. Okay, it comes with the wash timer. It only goes up to 15 seconds. Then you have soft, standard, and then a drain. Like, you drain it with this. It's standard. If you have, like, soft clothes, it's, like, something that rips easily. You put wash on soft. And then it's the spin cycle over here. It goes up to five minutes. So first, let's get a look on the inside. So on the inside, well, it comes with a hose, but this was not the original one. I bought this. I'm going to link this one that I have as well in the description box along with the washing machine and the dryer as well. I'm going to review the dryer um, when I start putting the clothes in the dryer. So I'm going to show you guys like a little wash, how it goes, all that good stuff like that so you can know the goods, the bed, and even the ugly stuff about it. And also, okay, it didn't come with this, so it came with a small, thin, little white one. I think I threw it in the trash because it didn't fit my sink. But this one does fit my bathroom sink. So, that's a good thing. So, I'll put that in the sink right now before I get everything started. So, it's about small. So, you can see in the inside of it. It is really small in the inside. So you could pretty much wash a few items in here, probably. I'll say like, it, to get a good wash, to get all the stains off, um, you probably could wash like two outfits, like no jeans. Jeans will wear it down, like probably like a, a jacket, a thin jacket, um, sweat clothes, like jogging suits or whatever like that. Like two jogging suits would be able to go in here with a couple of underwear and some socks. So today I'll be washing just all my sheets off my bed or whatever. And that's about it right now. So, and then in the other side, this is where you spin your clothes in the other side. And it comes with this little thing, and it's really small on the inside. It's really small on the inside. It's smaller than the wash cycle. And don't forget to close this first, because, like, sometimes I'll be closing, and, like, you probably can break this off. Like, I had this for, like, about... Since April and it's October, so everything is still working kind of decent right now. I have a five-year warranty on it because you never know what's going to happen. So when I come back, I'll be showing you guys putting the clothes in, hooking up the holes. Well, as a matter of fact, we can do that right now. So I'm going to turn this around because it comes with a little thing on the side. Let me see. A little thing on the side, so I'll put that in my shower. So it can just run out the water. And then, okay, this is hooking up the hose. Aim over here. So you hook up the hose. You grab this piece. Oops, a little more in there. The smaller piece, then you attach it to this part right here. And then you take the other piece and then you hook it up to your sink like that. And then you turn the water on, so the water comes down the tubing, goes down, and then it starts pouring into here. So like if you have clothes in there last time, you can kind of rinse it out or whatever, and then you can move with it. But don't forget to plug it up, so it has a little nice little cord. The cord's probably like... Four feet, maybe. So, let me show you guys. Okay, this is be filling up. So, guys, when I come back, I'm going to be showing you, like, how to wash, the cycles, all that good stuff like that. So, stay tuned. So, I added a little downy, um, fabric booster smell. And then I'm about to add, usually I add two little Tide Pod things. These are my favorite. 
I always throw one in there to get the bubbles going. So now I just turned it to 15. So that's how it spins. I like to get a little soaked in bubbles. So I can add a few of the fabrics in there so you guys can see how it sucks it down. other things like my pillowcase, the other pillowcase. So that's what it's given so far. So I'm gonna add the rest of my things in there guys and I'll be right back. Okay now this is everything and I got my two tie pods in there with a fat pods. Um and it's washing I got a fitted sheet in there. I got five pillowcases. I have my do-rag, my body and a pair of socks all up in this wash. So it works with the thing open and it works with it closed as well. So that's about that. But on this side, like I'll show you like, cause when you're spinning your clothes in this thing, like if you open it, it's gonna stop. It's not gonna keep spinning. So it's gonna stop. So I can let you guys get with this in a little while. So stay tuned. So the clothes are dry now. So now it's time for you to turn to drain and then wash your clothes drain out. They drain out of the little drainy pipe right here. So that after that, I'll, sh I'll re-rinse everything, but rinse it for the first time. So I'm gonna let all this water out, drain it. I'm gonna fill it up, put my fabric softener in, and y'all know how to wash though, yeah. So now the clothes are draining now, but I'm gonna put a few pieces over in the spin. This is not a dryer, guys, because some people might be like, is that a dryer, is that a dryer? It's not a, a dryer. It's a spin that gets your clothes dry, dangerously close to dry. So I'm gonna be with it. Don't overstock this child, because you're gonna be making a lot of noise, like bumping, grinding, and all that stuff like that. So that won't be a good idea. So you just wanna put a few little pieces over up in here. Okay, let me just down here show y'all so I can go ahead and move on to the next category. Okay, the last look. Okay, this is the sheet. Or whatever. So, um, you can put the little thing that came with it down up in there. Close it. Close it. And then you can put it on whatever. See, okay, now it just started straight off. Because usually sometimes if it's over stuff, it be bumping and grinding. So usually I put that like on, you put it on whatever you want to put it on, but if you put it on two minutes or whatever, if it's spinning good like this, it's going to be dry. So that's done. Okay, that is the mini washing machine and the dryer will be next. Okay, this is the little dryer. It comes with a lint trap thing that you can just pop out easy. It comes with the little thing on the back. I guess that sucks the length up. You get like a um a lint roller to get that out. And it comes with the filter thing. So you can filter all the things out. It comes in different settings. You can get cold, warm, all of those things like that. Mm-hmm. That also it has something at the back. Like you can take that off and have like the the lint get trapped in something or whatever like that. Because this is all the stuff that came with it. I didn't use the child. We had some gadgets, gadgets, little stuff like that, you know? So you can use this if you want, but I don't. So that's this, it's real small. It's like, it's kind of not that long. It's smaller than my arm. I'll say it's like probably two feet, if that. And I'll link this in the description box. It's very good. It can fit up to a, a comforter up in here, this little thing. And I live for it, you know. Save me some money, honey.